G'day everyone, welcome to the yearly vMix video where we talk about buying laptops for portable productions. Now, if you've already got a laptop and you just want to know if it's going to work with vMix, press pause and go to vmix.com for our free 60-day trial. Now, this year we've recommended going with a laptop with an Intel i9-14900HX CPU, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 GPU, 16 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, a terabyte M2 SSD, Thunderbolt 4, and Advanced Optimus. It's the ASUS 16-inch Republic of Gamers Strix G614JVR-ES94, which we bought from B&H for $15.99 USD. We went with a Thunderbolt laptop because it gives us the option to have four Full HD cameras connected to an AJA Thunderbolt capture device or a Thunderbolt enclosure with our own capture card installed. Oh, and of course, we plugged in our laptop. So make sure that you buy a laptop that has a power supply that allows you to plug it in because you need to plug in your laptop when using it with vMix. Now we've got our laptop running a vMix production here. It has four Thunderbolt video inputs via an AJA IOX3, one Insta360 Link USB webcam, a major USB capture input, and two full NDI inputs. It also has two video inputs on loop and some titles and images. It's a 1080-2997P production and is recording two outputs, streaming one stream, and outputting the full screen via the HDMI port on the laptop to an Atomos monitor. Now it's super important when you buy a laptop that the laptop features a MUX switch or advanced Optimus. This allows you to force a laptop to use the dedicated GPU, which is what vMix needs. To do this, there's usually an option in the laptop software that allows you to use the discrete or dedicated GPU only. On this ASUS, you can go to the Armory Crate software and then go to the GPU mode and select Ultimate. Now each laptop is gonna have some slightly different way to word it in order to use the dedicated graphics card. So you're gonna to have to check out the manual for your laptop. Now to learn more about MUX switches and Advanced Optimus, I'll include some links in the description. I'll also include a link in the description to our knowledge base guide that'll go through all the important things to consider when you first get your laptop, when you wanna set it up properly for vMix, including things like power consumption and performance settings in Windows. So if you can't find the laptop that we recommend, or you have a favorite brand like Lenovo, Dell, HP or something, or you see a really good deal on the internet, just make sure that you look for the specs that we recommend. An i9-14900HX, a 4060 GPU or better, at least 16 gigabytes of RAM, an SSD, and one that advertises a MUX switch or advanced Optimus. And also, of course, one that has a power supply so that you can plug it in. And honestly, you could probably just go with a 12th or 13th gen Intel i7, like an i7-13700H or a 12700H, and something with at least a 3060 GPU. Now, if you did want AV1 encoding, you'll need to get a 40 series GPU. And always get a laptop that advertises a MUX switch or advanced Optimus. Now, I'll link our previous year's laptop blogs and videos in the description because there's still plenty of previous generation laptops that are being produced and they're also on the market and they're a lot more affordable than the newer ones. So you might wanna check those out. All right, now time for a little bit of a rant. Now, 2024 has been a bit of a schmozzle when it comes to laptops. There's new generations of CPUs, new names for those CPUs, pretty small performance gains, and also laptops with three generation old CPUs still being produced. Now, there's been a huge focus on AI and battery performance, the new CPUs, but that doesn't really affect vMix. We also tested an i7 14th gen Intel and had mixed results at low load. We also tested some AMD 8000 series Ryzen's and had some issues with clock timing, so we can't really recommend those. So that's why we've gone with the i9-14900HX. Now we did consider testing out the Intel Core Ultras and the AMD Ryzen AI HX's, but from the performance results that we've seen online, we felt as though the i9 would be more reliable and powerful. Plus we'd already bought five different laptops for testing. And we also thought that the product ranges for the new CPUs were fairly limited. Although next year, I'm sure we'll probably have to get a Intel Core Ultra Gen 2 CPU or an AMD Ryzen AI HX Gen 2 490 or whatever they come up with. So um, we'll have to wait and see what laptop CPUs look like next year. Okay, so that's the end of my rant for today. So when you found that perfect laptop that meets all of our recommendations, just make sure that it has the perfect fit for you as well. Check to see how many USB ports it has. Do you like more USB-C, USB-A? Do you prefer the ports to be on the back or the right-hand side or the left-hand side? Importantly, does it have an ethernet port or RJ45 port? Does it have Thunderbolt? Do you need Thunderbolt? Does it have USB 4? Is it full capacity USB 4? 
Now, do you have a screen size preference? I mean, I don't like huge laptops with big screens because there can be scaling issues with different things, but that's just me. If you need portability, check the weight. What's your WASD situation? Are you a WASD head or are you more of a Corazid head like us and our new laptop here? Do you have a favorite laptop reviewer on YouTube? Because they're gonna be able to give you a good idea about things like build quality and fan noisiness and temperatures and that sort of thing. And finally, are you going to be using this laptop for other things like video editing? Make sure that you've considered all of those specifications as well before buying. Now, if you've been through all of our guides and videos and information and you still have questions, you can always send us an email via vmix.com. If you have a specific laptop model in mind because you've seen an awesome sale or your organization only allows you to choose from a particular set of brands or something, send us a link to the exact product page so that we can take a look at the specs. Don't just send the model name as there can be 20 or 30 variants of the exact model. Send us the very specific product page for the one that you want to buy. Now, if you found an amazing laptop that you swear by, leave a comment so others can check it out as well. Or if you've been using a laptop for your portable productions, we're always interested in hearing your stories about how you're using vMix. Or maybe you'd just like to leave us a comment to tell us what your favorite pasta is. I like fettuccine carbonara. How about you, Heath? I like a bit of spaghetti bolognese, who doesn't? To stay up to date with all of the latest systems that we recommend, you can go to the reference systems page at vmix.com. On the Sapphire page, you will see the laptops, but you can also see other builds that we recommend as well. Don't forget we have a free 60 day trial at vmix.com if you ever wanna try it out. Thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. I like fettuccine carbonara. I enjoy lasagna even. Uh, what's the ones that are the pockets, the pillows, you know? Truffle and parmesan gnocchi. Mm.